afternoon, everyone. My name is Caitlin Heron. Most of us would agree that when it comes to the world of dating, it is a jungle out there. And for those of you in happy relationships currently, congratulations. But if you're anything like me and you find yourself single after a long time, I want to encourage you to think that online dating leaves hope for the rest of us. If you've ever been like me, you have experienced heartache and loneliness at some point in your life. Many of us do. I know that I especially did in 2013. I was newly divorced, and I had just graduated and was looking for current jobs. I found myself single for the first time since I was 19 years old, and it really was a scary thing for me. Normally, I would look to friends, but my friends had all graduated and moved far away. Next, I would normally look for work and establishing work relations to help me out. Only problem is, I work with exclusively women, and so it doesn't really leave a whole lot in the male department to be desired. So, with much trepidation, I turn to the world of online dating. There are many sites to choose from. There's some for every single, it seems, for every single situation. There's online dating sites for the elderly, online dating sites for those who are, identify as Christian, Jewish, and everything in between. Have any of you ever considered dating someone online? Well, like myself, you may have had and heard of some bad experiences of people who have experienced online dating. Many people tend to shy away from online dating because of perceived risks. A Rucker University study was able to establish three main issues that people find with online dating. The number one concern being personal safety. Number two, being misrepresentation. Am I actually going to meet up with the person that I thought they were online? And number three, recognition. Are other people going to know that I'm using an online dating system? And will I be recognized outside of that online dating system before I'm ready to do so? And these are all very valid fears. So you might be asking yourself if you are newly single, is online dating even worth the risk? Well, I'm happy to report that there are some promising facts to consider. Research suggests that the odds are in your favor regardless if you are male or female. A, 20, a 2014 six-month study found that male initiators who contacted the first to contact someone online were more successful in finding a desirable partner than those who did not wait, who, who waited to make that contact. That's a lot better odds, it may seem, than the typical bar scene where rejection may run rampant. Women had even more luck than their male counterparts. That, study, that same study found that connecting with desirable partners happened regardless of whether or not they made that first initial contact. But what about the fear of deception? Honesty is the best policy after all. Well, a University of Michigan study compared truth data, meaning your actual height, your actual eye color, your actual preferences, to what is actually getting posted online by most people. The results of that study found that yes, deception is frequent. However, the magnitude of that deception is not nearly what many of us are led to believe. The, they are small, some might consider insignificant white lies. I'm actually 5'3 when I said I was 5'4. My eyes are actually brown when I said they were hazel. Now some people may consider this a great deal of deception, but for many of us, these are forgivable. But do these relationships even last? Can they stand the test of time? However, they are started online after all, which is, can be a very impersonal place. Uh, 
the Harvard School of Public Health found that in 2012, they actually looked into this. They found that one third of all marriages from 2005 to 2012 were made by people who actually met online. And more interesting than that is they found that people who met online reported as being slightly more satisfied in their marriage and slightly less likely to divorce. But back to those questions, if any of you are finding yourself single and ready to mingle. There are safety tips to consider. I found these from psychology.com, and these are some basic guidelines to follow. An overarching thing that they suggest is to get to know the person as soon as possible. And that includes meeting them as soon as possible, so you actually do know who you are talking to online. And the same basic rules of safety may apply as if you met someone in another venue through a friend or even a blind date. Have people know where you're going. Let people know that you're going to be meeting this person. And be honest, when it comes to actual online dating and actually setting up that profile, be honest. Post your actual weight, your actual preferences, your actual age, and that may attract people who are equally honest. Do your best to protect your, your own identity and try to stay as anonymous as possible. You are mostly in control of that. You don't have to post your number, your address, and other personal information. And lastly, take your time getting to know somebody. There's no rush, and it is certainly not a race. Thank you very much.